hundreds of sacks filled with soil from all over the world. The raw materials of Ulrika Arnold's art. It looks like a spice market in India. It's not everything, of course, but it's a cross-section from every continent. I have much more in boxes and behind the curtain. Look at this grey. It's such a fine powder. Or the black, just like coal. And this red, it's so strong. I heard that the indigenous people of Australia used to walk hundreds of miles to get their hands on this red. Ulrika Arnold is a traveler too. For 30 years she's crossed the globe, constantly moving until she finds a place where she'd like to work. The decision is very personal. It's something only I can feel. I say to myself, this place, even if it's bare and perhaps looks like nothing to many people, I'm drawn to it. So I decide this is where it has to be. Bare, rocky, sandy. These are the landscapes Arnold is most often drawn to. She spends long days and weeks collecting soil and rocks, hammering and grinding it down and mixing it with binding agents. Then she hits the canvas. When I decide to be there in the natural environment, there's a very real reason. I take in the elements. I let the elements of nature work their way into the image. The sun, wind, rain, even animals that nibble on the canvas or crawl over it at night. Nature leaves its mark. The result? Earthen images emerging layer upon layer as abstract landscape portraits. Images that are part of the place and an expression of the time there. Images like the Earth's crust itself, the skin of the Earth. The Oscar-nominated producer Hank Levine is fascinated by Arnold's work. He wants to make a film about her, and he's come to her Dusseldorf studio to work on the planning. They hope to shoot all over the world. Ulrika fascinates me. She has so much joy and so much energy. I really envy that. Personally, I feel the need to break out of my day-to-day -day work as a producer and director and do something completely new and out of the ordinary. Levine wants to tell the story of someone who broke free from the humdrum of daily life. At the age of 30, Arnold left a teaching career to study at Dusseldorf's renowned Kunstakademie. While she was exploring the world, she hired local guides to help her in the most hostile environments. In Mexico's Sonora Desert, two old men helped her carry her tent in the heavy canvas. Tortillas by the campfire were the highlight of her journey. Arnold keeps photos of her travels in her kitchen. After 30 years, she has a favorite spot in Arizona, where, with the help of some Native Americans, she built her own cabin. She now spends half the year living and working there. But she still works in Dusseldorf, too. Her latest find is one of the most extraordinary of all, meteorite dust, provided by a scientist she met on her travels. It's left over from his experiments. But for Arnold, it's a compelling medium, a shimmering, mysterious new material transported straight from the cosmos. Sometimes she mixes the dust with sand from the nearby River Rhine, a true blend of heaven and earth. It makes for a kind of magic right here in her Dusseldorf studio.